I would tell them what I heard four weeks ago from Warren Buffett, because my sons and I went to uh, the uh, Berkshire Hathaway annual shareholders meeting at the invitation of his daughter, who was an old friend of mine from years back. So we went, and he said, you have to pursue what you pursue with passion. If you can't be passionate about what, you, uh, what you're about to do, you'll never really truly be successful. And I often reflect on people I know that on Monday afternoon already say, it's only four more days to the weekend because they hate what they do. And I can't imagine, I, I only ever did that once in my life. And I did that job for four weeks and I left it and I, and I never looked back afterwards. You've got to be passionate about what you do. To be successful, it's about relationships. Um, you need a solid um, understanding of if it's a technical area that, that you're with, but if you can't communicate and relate to people and work with people, you're not going to be successful. Uh, I laugh when I was, uh, I'm an accountant, went through university thinking that, uh, that those courses around how to, to, to write and communicate were, were, were not, uh, not of any value. When you get out into the workplace, those are the skill sets that you need. The ability to relate to people, communicate and collaborate. Uh, it's all about good and strong relationships. That's the key to success in my view. Be a good listener. Um, there's a lot of good information both from your customers but also from your employees and uh, what's in the best interest of, of the organization. And to be successful, being a good listener is good. But also be very decisive. Make decisions and uh, try to clear up the bureaucracy, empower people to move the business forward as well. And, and usually those things combined will, will articulate into a successful strategy for an organization. Any leadership uh, requires bringing forward a vision and creating uh, appropriate relationships. So I always say you can't accomplish anything except with and through people. So again, that opportunity to create relationships with your own staff, your executive team, and create partnerships that are external to the organization because that's always helpful to move forward your vision. You got to get comfortable um, living in paradox to a certain degree. Um, I've noticed a lot of employees really like stability. In other words, they don't like change. People, people generally, I don't, I find, don't like a lot of change. Yet I also find uh, everybody wants progress. Everybody wants to see things move forward, see things to be better. But it's impossible to have progress without change. So how do you, how do you live in that place comfortably and uh, communicate that? to people who are, in a lot of ways, you know, you're working with a lot of engineers, you're working with a lot of technical people, they want it linear, they want to know A, B, C, and D, and, and yet you're saying that sometimes uh, you got to live in uh, a foot in both camps. We want to be stable, but at the same time we want to change, uh, and, uh, and you have to get comfortable with, uh, with that. I would say you have to have a passion for what you're doing. Um, certainly you, you can't go through life thinking about what might have been or what could be or what should be. It's up to you to take control of your own destiny. And I believe that if you find a passion in life, follow it. It's somewhere inside everybody, I believe. Everybody knows what vocation they like, what they want to do in life. Just not enough people get out there and have the guts to take risks and I think the number one thing you have to do is take risks and understand what those risks can reward you with and also understand that making mistakes is one of the most important parts of success. There's no question uh, that drive, determination and hard work are going to be the secrets to success. But certainly if a young person uh, can determine what they'd like to do or at least have a rough idea of what they'd like to do and are willing to commit themselves to that, their opportunities are very bright.